In this video, I'll be showing you how to deal with zip files and PDF files. So normally after you have purchased a product or you have downloaded a file from the uh, internet, then some of the files are in zip files and also some of the files are in PDF file. So normally, as you can see here, this is winzip.com. This is a winzip uh, utility and this is, the, this is the one of the most popular uh, utilities on the internet that people use to unzip or zip files. But as you can see, actually, WinZip is a, not a free uh, software and it is not an open source. You have to pay for it. Especially for the version right now, version 11, you have to pay for the WinZip. And it specifically says over here, contrary to popular belief, WinZip is not a free software. Therefore, we'll find other alternatives. There are many open source uh, softwares or applications and one of them that I'm currently using is this it's 7-zip.org so you can download it from here 7-op so in order for you to download this just click on this link then this is a exe file download it to your computer and then just install it to your computer so I've already had it installed on my computer so let's proceed so this is a zip file. Okay, so in order for you to download a zip file, you can just do it normally by clicking left click on your mouse and just download it to your desktop or to whatever you want. Optionally, you can also uh, download zip file by right click on your mouse and choose this safe link as. So this is this browser that I'm using is a uh, Mozilla Firefox. So for Mozilla Firefox browser you have to choose this safe link S as the option but for Internet Explorer okay now I'm in on my Internet Explorer for Internet Explorer right click the name will be safe target S here you can see so just click and just choose where you want to download so this is for Internet Explorer and this is for um, Mozilla Firefox so next PDF file so this is a PDF file. How do we download PDF file? You have to right click your PDF file. Like here, right click on your mouse and choose Safe Link S. Again, this is a Mozilla Firefox browser. So Safe Link S and just download it to the desktop. We are done. Similarly, going back to uh, Internet Explorer, PDF file, just right click, choose the Safe, safe Target S option here and just download it to your desktop or wherever you want. So next, let's proceed. So how do we unzip the zip file? So taking into account that you have already downloaded and installed this uh, zip-org uh, file, so this is how it will look like. So I just right click. This is a zip file. Right click. And you can see this zip file here, option. And just choose to extract here if I want to extract it on my desktop or on the same folder. So I just click here once, extract here. And you can see it want to... It, uh, replace a new file because the test file here is already present so I just say yes and it will be uh, unzipped or just download this to show you okay I right click again and extract here and there it will be extracted here so how do we uh, how do we uh, zip the file so in order for us to zip the file let's say this is the file that you want to zip just right click on the file and choose the 7 zip option here and just click on this add to archive click once and you can see I'm given a, uh, given a lot of options here so you can name it to others if you want let's say test2 name the zip file then the archive format see the extension that you want there are a lot like tar, gzip but normally this is the most popular zip file for a normal file Compression level, you can choose whether you want the fastest, fast, normal, maximum, or ultra, up to you. Similarly, you can also choose the compression method. You can choose the dictionary size, which in this case is a permanent fix, and the word size. And you can also even enter a password if you want. That means if you enter a password, if you enter a password to the zip file, nobody can open the zip file, or nobody can unzip the zip file unless they have the password. So once you have everything ready, just click on OK. And you can see the file has been zipped. So optionally, we can also double click on zip file by left click like this, double click. 
and it will open the zip file manager you can see here this is the zip file manager and this is the file that is inside the zip uh, so it, if let's say there are many files inside one zip file it will show all the files over here let's say there are 10 files and there will be all the 10 files will be here so I'll show you an example so let's say I want to zip few files like this 1 2 3 4 5 so I just right click and go to this 7 zip here and add to archive same thing like we do just now and then just name the name that you want the zip file to be let's say test thing 1 2 3 and again all the options I remain it as default and I want to zip the file to desktop so I go to a desktop file name okay so this is the path and then and then I just click OK and let's go back and you can see there this is the zip file here so if I want to unzip the file again you can do it by right click or if just double click and it will open all the zip file manager manager so like I want to show you just now remember there are a few files over here these are all the contents so if you want to extract all these files just click on this extract button sorry you have to choose all these uh, files then go to extract button and you can choose where you want it to be extracted so this is desktop if you want to choose other location just click here and choose other locations so I just click OK let's go back and you can see all the files have been extracted okay let's proceed to PDF files so how do we open a PDF file firstly you have to have a Adobe Acrobat Reader so you can go to Yahoo or Google and just type it, this Adobe Acrobat Reader click on the, all the web and you will be presented with few searches and you can see this is the uh, adobe.com uh, website the official, uh, official website so just click here this is where you download the uh, Adobe Reader Acrobat Reader and it is free you can see here this is the current is free you just download this click in here download this and just install it on your computer so I already have it installed on my computer so you can see this is a PDF file for example so in order for me to open the file just double click on the file okay this is the Adobe you can see that now then I can read the file or optionally I can also open the file or a PDF file from the uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader itself like this just click here open and search for PDF file so let's say I open this another file the job killer review and open it and there you go so this is how you read your PDF files so thank you for watching and I'll see you again in other video series goodbye